Right, hello and welcome to some more prediction videos because we've got two events this, this weekend or this yeah this weekend we've got NXT Takeover Toronto tonight and then we've got uh, SummerSlam tomorrow. I'm recording these on the Saturday morning for anyone who's wondering. Hopefully it should be up by the time I am or by the time the show's on. I should say, actually, but I'm sounding kind of tired, because I am, so there's that. But, no further ado, I'm going to stop stalling, and we'll get in. Because opening the show, I'm going to have Street Profits defend against the Undisputed Era, the NXT Tag Team titles on the line, and um, I'd like to say that the Undisputed Era will leave with all the gold, but I just don't see it happening, to be honest. But anyway, I've got Candice LeRae and Io Shirai, and the grudge match following that. On top of that will be the triple threat for the North American Championship as Velveteen Dream defends against Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. And then we have the Women's Championship match. Shayna Baszler will take on Mia Yim. And I think this is one of the times I actually predict Shayna to retain. And it's probably going to be a time she loses the damn thing. And then we've got the three stages of the hell match. Obviously the first stage, Adam Cole picked it as a normal match. And the second stage... Johnny Gargano picked it as a street fight, so I've just put it as no holds barred. And then, if it's to go to a third fall, which I think it will, I think uh, William Regal will pick a ladder match. And as you've noticed here, I haven't put the championship on the line here because these falls won't determine the championship, in my opinion. It's this one that will. So without any further ado, I need to get started. I'm not going to waste any more time. Hello, nerd. Hello, race, you fucking asshole. Looking at this card, I just gotta rub my hands together and smile. Make sure entrances are on. But it's a good turn entrances off for these last two, because they'll already be in the ring, won't they? Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong two. Hold on. These last two. Because they'll already be in the ring from the previous fall. So, we'll load up the Tagatima Championship. The championship is on the line. And it's all happening next. We have a team led by one of the best talents. Well, I'm reporting you today. for swearing and calling you viewers' sure names. We will not soon okay. forget. Go for it. <laughs> anyway, I just think it's too early for the Street Profits to lose their titles. But then again, they have been appearing on the main roster. So I don't know. I just don't think the Undisputed Era will leave with all the gold. It's too much of a dream scenario. Any last words? Nah. <laughs> nah is my last word. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go Street Profits, although it's a difficult choice. Because I want to see the Undisputed Era have all the gold, but I don't think it'll happen. And yeah, I know it says NXT here, because there's no NXT TakeOver Toronto actual things. Any logos or anything like that, but I have got the arena, so here come the Undisputed Era. You know the regatta. Um doesn't look like it. Here come the challengers anyway, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Are you coming up tonight? Probably not. I have no dollars. I'm literally broke. I also have like, like seven pounds in my name, so why not? And Bobby Fish make them a threat to each and every tag team in WWE. To get a ten and come for a pint. No, I'm all right. I was drinking for takeover anyway. These are two men who have been a tag team since 2012. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, obviously, former two time NXT tag team champions. The first ever three time if they beat the Street Profits. When's it start? It usually starts, I think it starts at midnight. I'm pretty sure. And then it finishes at half two or three. Here come the NXT Tag Team Champions. 
pre-show 11. I don't know if they have, I don't even know when the pre-show is for that, to be honest. I think it's either 11 or half 11. Street Profits have arrived in Toronto. It should be a fun match in real life. NXT is tonight, yeah, and SummerSlam is tomorrow. I realise now that I'll be talking all this shit about Undisputed Era not winning the, all the all the championships. I'll watch TakeOver tonight and they'll win all the championships. It's just destined for me to be wrong. I think Ben, ben and Craig will join in. Uh, Ben's not going to join in because I think Ben's way up the road. And Craig will probably join in. He usually does. It depends if he's awake. It still annoys me a little bit that the themes get copyrighted and I can't play him, but... Oh, well. The fucking theme song's so good. Folks, <laughs> just take three of one person. Depends on what he drinks. Alright. NXT Tag Team Championships on the line. To open up these predictions. On the way to the ring. They're literally in the ring, but okay. Is NXT part of WWE? Yeah, it is. You'll be sleeping with the fishes. Oh, no. It's not a good sign. And Kyle O'Reilly and Montez Ford starting off this match. And this should be a fun little tag match. Suplex straight away by Ford. Now a test of strength. Here. Ford wrenching the arm and taking down O'Reilly to one knee. O'Reilly fighting back, locking the arm. Alright, calm down. Quick. The collar and elbow tie, and elbow tie up now. Ford winning it again. Kyler Riley fights back. Arm behind the head. Ford reverses. Headlock now on O'Reilly. Now the arm behind O'Reilly's head. Boom, what impact. A knee to the stomach for good measure. And a takedown with the STO. Ford wins out on that one. And now a running Bulldog. And Kyle O'Reilly wants to tag out. Ford tags out as well. Are you black and yellow? Yeah. Fish misses a drop kick. And a kick kidney shot by Angelo Dawkins. Stomach the, ab oh, stomach the abdomen. Yeah, that makes sense. Knee reversal by... Uh, Dawkins. I'm, I've just literally maybe woke up about 15 minutes ago. Snap suplex. Right hand. Okay, apparently right hand doesn't affect him. Kick in the corner, blocked by Dawkins. Another undisputed error, looking for a submission. Too close to the ropes. And the Kyle O'Reilly went back in. Oh, nice counter to the ET there by O'Reilly. Armbar attempt now. 
Maybe a bit early to try and talk him out using the arms, but it could work. Oh, never mind. Left hand by Dawkins now. O'Reilly blocks. And an STO. This is a bad side for the Street Profits if they wanted to keep their titles. Kyle O'Reilly twisting around. Angelo Dawkins. Working on the arms of the Street Profits. Code Sight is thinking that Montez and Angelo will be the new champions. Montez and Angelo are already the champions. They'll be thinking Undisputed Era. If he said new champions, they'll be thinking it'll be Undisputed Era. However, now on Dawkins. Kick out. Bit early. So we're going for the, the pin there, O'Reilly. Alright. Slam down by Ford. I'm oh, sorry, by Dawkins. Ford's on the outside. Snap suplex now. The Street Profits needs to fight back in. You mean Bobby and Kyle? Fair enough. Yeah. They always say that. They always say, oh, I think we're going to predict new champions. I don't know why. Okay, I'm pretty sure I struck him first, but sure. Angelo getting dragged over to the Undisputed Era corner. Snap my takedown. And now locking the arm. These guys want to do a lot of damage to the arm here. He says he's going to be a new champion. I don't know, it could be. At the moment, it looks like it because I'm getting destroyed. Punch the abdomen by Dawkins and Spear takedown. This could be a chance for him to tag him forward here. Have a break. And he does. Oh, what's going to happen here? Forward being thrown into a splash. And a close line by Dawkins. Good double team in there by the Prophets. Now forward out the corner. So it's a flip into a power bomb and a cover. The ref doesn't want to count it. Oh, now he does. The kick out. It's a bit early yet. STO by Montez Ford. And this video had a bit of control, but now it's back in the Trolla Street Profits. Farms carried takeover by O'Reilly. Suplex. Oh, butterfly suplex. Oh, we're going for two. And we're going for three. Oh, DDT. Lads forward. Every time I say they're in control, it always switches. <laughs> Annoying. Tagged in. Mark Hallerello tagging Bobby Fishing. Smart moves since he's a healthier competitor. Montes Ford just to the outside, regaining some composure. And it hasn't worked because of backbreaker by Fish. Ford stuck in the wrong corner here. Off the ropes, now goes Fish. Drop down. Leapfrog. Oh, nice elbow. No, Ford. No suplex. Bobby Fish is in trouble here. Bontis Ford is rolling now. Oh, drop hold, to hold counter by Fish. Out to the corner, goes Ford. Close line to the back. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount Go to the arms soon. again. Might be time for him to recharge you, you used to all the hyphens and never meant that enough right now. Get to his corner and make the tag. He's doing I wonder why he put all the hyphens to be honest. Another Boston Crab attempt here by Fish. Is he done? Is he done? That's the question. We're about to find out. Whoa, no, he he's not. A bit of a Houdini job right there. And Ford is going to take advantage here. Beautiful right time. hand. Knocking down fish to the mat. Drop kick now by Montez Ford. The Street Profits want to prove that their victory wasn't a fluke. Ford now lining up. 
DDT. Now that's how you make a statement. That and that might end, end Bobby Fish here. The champion into the cover. cover now. Fish with a kick out. Punishment, I can promise you that. The prediction is that Montez and Angelo will win. Yeah. So I'd like to see Undisputed Era with all the gold, but I feel like that's too much of a dream scenario. But I'm not going to predict it. I end up being wrong, probably. But, yeah. up for grabs. Which team Bobby Fish breaking out the headlock. Fish tried to cross body there, I think, but it didn't work. Spinning kick by Dawkins, or by Ford, to Fish, I should say. It's a corner. Reversal by Fish. Elbow. Suplex again. Just try to make it to O'Reilly. And he will because I'm talking too much. Close line blocked by O'Reilly. Forearm avoided by Ford. A close line out onto his partner, interestingly enough. To the toilet nerd, I know, <laughs> I realize it's not. Oh, I've got no reversals either. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Get off me. Arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is. Reversal by Ford. Byron, he looks like he has okay. no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Drew Street, Michael. Ford now. Oh dear! Face first on the outside, ref for a five count. Ford throwing back in. No attempt to cover. O'Reilly gets his shoulder up. Surprisingly, after taking that face first on the floor, but a high mouse kick out. Punch the abdomen, and now. Look at the tag and fish. Gets the tag. He does. What's the plan here? DDT. Into a suplex. Nobody controls the pace of the match. Like this guy. Oh, Another undisputed error back in control. Boy fish going to the legs. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. Into the corner now once again. It could be now a double-team effort. He's fighting back here. Right? It was going to be, but Ford's fought off. Could have been total elimination there, Bad Sweet Error. He's in big trouble. Topic drop. The champ. Top rope goes forward. Elbow avoided by Fish. Take down the leg. Not just sitting out on it. Trying to play. Third year after the predictions, maybe. Depends if Fred's on. If Fred's on, then no. <laughs> and comes O'Reilly once again. Work on the arms. Off the ropes. The Irish, double Irish whip. Double kicks by Unspeeded Era. Ford catches the leg, reverses it into Boston Crab. Is he done? Trying to tap out O'Reilly here. Will it work? No, it won't. The prediction of me: all you do is play Brock and Rock, so it's <laughs> kind of difficult. O'Reilly avoiding Ford there. Ford just. Wanted to defeat the you know, there in the ring, go back in and missing the move. And now Kyle O'Reilly's going to take advantage. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh my God! Stomping on the knees. Once again, going for the Boston Crab. Two oh, Street Pro Ascenders sooner they can leave Toronto with their tag team titles intact. Ford knows this time it's not going to work. He knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? 
Reversal. Oh, Montez Ford, look at these punches and an uppercut as well. Now stomping down in the corner on O'Reilly. And now he's going for Fish as well. Sunset flip powerbomb. Back in for O'Reilly now. I play you would be too. I play the people you think will lose. There's more chance of me losing. Eh. So much for crowning a new champion tonight. That's a good point. Into the corner now goes O'Reilly. In off the tag. Now Dawkins coming in off a tag. Drop to a hold. Elbow drop. That wasn't an Enziguri, it was an elbow drop, but okay, cool, cool, whatever you want to see. Second rope. Oh caught in the gut. This is trying to distract Dawkins there, you saw. It must have worked. Another arm bar attempt. Might not be as easy for Dawkins to break out this time. If you can hear me butt mashing, that's because I am trying to get out of the submission like hell. Oh, Kyler Riley busted open. He would take on Toronto, and that won't help things. Into the corner. Oh, Riley blocks it. Super kick avoided by Dawkins. It's close line by O'Reilly. Knee drop. Really undisputed error. Get their third NXT Tag Team Championship. Because what are your predictions for those with until you get more views? Because my gorgeous ass will be on. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Backbreaker by Dawkins. Back suplex now. O'Reilly blocking Dawkins. Kick avoided again. A close lock. Jesus Christ. Close line out of the ring just sends Cal O'Reilly absolute flying. Now off the table. Snap suplex on the outside. Kyler Riley's getting destroyed here. Bringing it back into the ring. Gator rolled now by Dawkins. People will see those fusions and be like, I want to see that. Nah, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think so somehow. Well, that's a slam blocked by a jawbreaker. It doesn't matter if it's a lariat by Dawkins. Jesus Christ, this has just been all go since the beginning. What's he going to do with it? Watch the leg sweep. Nicely done. Knocking Bobby Fish off the apron, going up top. Lots Dawkins thinking. Elbow drop. O'Reilly fights out. Job breaker by Dawkins. Splash. I think he was looking for a second splash. Oh, forearm. Yeah, O'Reilly. Try to fight back any way you can now. O'Reilly's got him tied up again. Into a cover off of that. Interesting. Kick out two by Dawkins. And they see me losing probably go off at some point. <laughs> Dawkins blocks. Cheap shot by Fish. Headbutt now by Dawkins. A right hand. Taking Bobby Fish out of the equation. Bobby Fish trying to get legs of Dawkins. Chaos. Melee. Pandemonium. 
Now O'Reilly in the corner. Fish interfering once again. Dawkins has just got enough of it. And here we go now, the Street Profits. Spine Buster, Frog Splash. And O'Reilly kicks out, what the fuck though. Try it again. Second attempt at the frog splash. Will that do it? Yes, it will. The Street Profits retain. Kyle O'Reilly saw kicking out the first spine buster and frog splash combo. But the second one he couldn't get out of. I can watch highlights of that one. What a way to open Tonight, the takeover more, Toronto predictions. WWE matches I've ever been Maybe a little bit faster paced in real life, I don't know. At the end of the day, there's good, there's Street great, Profits retain. There's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable team. Crowd's going crazy for the Street Profits here. Obviously happy they retained. Another exciting tag team match in the books. I don't care how many wins you have. Whenever your hand is I forgot what's up next. I think it's Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai. As hard as it will be, so I shall see you guys in a second for that. We must move on here, guys. Taking on some tough competition. I can barely sit still. Okay, so it is... EO and Candice up next. I can't remember the match order, to be honest with you. But I'm glad we know now. I'm glad we're aware. If I mic uh, mute my mic, it's because I need to... Like, my nose is running, so I need to not run it, obviously. I don't know who'll win this, to be honest. It could go either way. I'm going to predict EO. It's Candice Wrestling! I was going to build up... I was going to read all the build-up on Wikipedia like I do for most of the pay-per-view prediction things, but there's only one match on there and it's the NXT title match build-up, so I have to wait to the NXT title match to do it. Now here comes Candice wrestling. You know, Byron, she describes herself as a modern Her husband Johnny Wrestling has got his own yeah, grudge a, match tonight with um, Adam Cole. But she's got hers tonight with Io Shirai. I think her and Gargano got to the roster together after this takeover. I could be wrong. Might be too soon for Candice, actually. Anyway. Here comes Io. Io's shown a different side of herself since the last takeover. I don't know why it all says to take over Chicago. They must have just got the graphic wrong. We're actually in Toronto. Just, just full disclosure. One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree. I just downloaded this arena, so as as I'm not responsible for it. In the ring, you can it is a good arena, though. Memorable. I wish they had like all the takeover stuff in the game from previous takeovers as well as current ones instead of just doing the ones from the previous year. Because that would make things so much easier. Because I could use the old Toronto set from 2016. But no. Things can't be easy. Anyway. Grudge match here now. Finally, this 
drop kick right out of the gate by Shirai. No more excuses. We're gonna find out who the better superstar is. And you have competitors on the level of these women. Candice LeRae catching the leg, and that's a problem for Yoshirai here. What a stop. Good grief. He's in the corner already. The drop kick to the back. Right hand blocked by, or avoided by Shirai. The kick also avoided. Back suplex reversed by LeRae. Off the ropes now. Drop down. Dropkick misses. Oh, what a hit by Io. He's going to follow it up. Suplex. Just kicking the hell out of that back is Io. Relentless. Relentless attack by Io Shirai here. No, she's got Candice she's on the mat. Call her up to her feet this from the second row. Drop kick. Bodied by LeRae. Oh. LeRae has Io against the ropes. Nice thrust in the rope back. I'm already seeing fans on social media saying that this is the WWE pay per view of the year. You know this what? is the WWE pay per view of the year. It could be. Throughout the could blow even else out the war. German oh, suplex by EO. I think I did a favor to the body. Bumping on the arm now. Hyper extend your elbow. Byron, while Corey's on his phone checking his social media middle. feed, how about you and I finish back with more kicks here. to the back? This has been a heck of a match so far, wouldn't you agree? Jawbreaker by Larry now. Let's try to fight back against this relentless this onslaught to Lodi. Eric and Rana. Of the calendar year. Candice Larry got the arm. Back elbow by Io. Take over by Larry. Like Io with a block. Edge the corner of the struggle. Irish Street. That's not going to do any damage. Uh, not do any favors, I should say, to the body. It will do damage. And now, no German suplex. Oh, some more kicks to the back. Larry, jawbreaker. No Candice. Corey special perhaps. Oh, face first. Corey bomb. Larray taking down EO. Just the fact that they let you come Look at this. She's trying to turn the tables right here. Come back by Larray. Candice wrestling misses the drop kick. Not sure what happened there, but EO going back to work on the back. Now he has got Candice on the top rope. Looking for some lasting punishment here. My friends will come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Superplex by Io Shirai. And these two women will beat the hell out of each other before this is done. Her opponent has been absolutely ruthless. Track suplex for Shirai now. Looking around this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fun, as much like Byron did when he watched WWE pay-per-views in his youth. Don't the ring now goes here. And her right hand, Candice tickets to the outside. Said he had friends come over to his house. I think we're going to need to fact check that one, because I'm not buying it. Candice yelling at Eo here. Oh man, she's really trying to be a friend, I think is what she's saying there. Uh, Eo doesn't care. Our bar the outside. This is real bad. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. I think a visit to the chiropractor's in order after that one. I know a guy. Lorraine, is she going to fight out? Oh, right hand. Five count. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Into the apron goes Io Shirai. Seven count now by Lorraine. Lorraine taking the action back in the ring. No, sunset tonight. flip, point, yeah, power bomb, cover, cover. 
And he uh, manages to fight out. Gives the right. Oh, baited. Candice LeRae in there. Hurricane Rana connects. And now a Kimura lock. Interesting here by Io. To fill up on the arm damage. The Ray fights out. Oh, and a spinning back fist by Shirai. The Ray blocks the right hand. Shirai with a kick to the abdomen. Right hand again by the Ray. Off the ropes now goes Shirai. Bounce carry takeover. Back suplex. Now she's going back to those arms again. Might make Larray tap out. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh. Kick to the back again by Io Shirai. Just relentless assault here on her former friend. Michinoku driver. Right hand avoided by Larray. This could be a way of getting back in. Forearm. Reversed by Shirai. Every time it's a devastating back suplex. Eo's done so much to the body now that the suplex does more damage than initially in a match, I guess. Eo now that's the arm. Another Michinoku driver. Now top rope goes Eo. We're looking for the home run shot here on Larray. Oh, knee drop. Or knee drop, not knees drop. It was a one knee drop, so. That credit is two. Larray fighting off Eo. Eo. Just trying to create some space, but it doesn't matter because Kansas Larray has got in the corner now. What's Mrs. Gargano thinking here? Out of the corner, second rope, prop top, neck breaker. Not the smoothest of neck breakers, but it does the trick. Look at her go. She's looking at Io going for a second attempt at the arm bar. I think it's more of a wear down move than the actual I want to tap out Larray with that move. Could be wrong though. The raid does fight out. She fights out, but that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Spinning kick. To the oh, I think the raid was looking for a signature there, but Shirai. Hooked up and oh, nice oh devastated! That back that suplex is destroying Candice here. Top rope now is Eo, or Eo props Candice. Oh dear. German suplex, this isn't going to do any favours. Oh, Candice lands face first. That could be all. Eo just menacingly walking over to the cover. Jesus Christ, inheriting her husband's resiliency there. Candice Luray fights out. But now, anyway. Eo continuing with the body damage. She's calling for it. Now she's calling up Larray. This could be the Too much time taunting and a sidewalk slam by Candice. I don't get a reversal point for the signature, that's cool. Eo fights out. Bring more moonsault. Into the corner now. We know what Candice is going for. She can connect to that top rope neck breaker. But Eo blocks it. Oh dear. Now this really isn't going to do any favours for the body. The crowd chanting this is awesome. But they don't know what's about to happen. Superplex the outside. That's going to destroy each one as much as each other to be honest. What a grudge match here between Candice LeRae and Io Shirai. One count now and 
Eos happy to take the count out here. I think she feels like she's vanquished Loray. Loray getting back to her feet. Oh, just catching her. Both women down on the outside now. Eo the first to her feet. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Surprised Candice could even walk after that suplex, suplex the outside, but she can, so give her credit there. Her credit's due. Knee by Candice LeRae. What's this? Get the position in. Oh, the Gargano escape by Candice LeRae. Will Eo be able to withstand it? There's been a lot of damage done to the head this match, to be honest, so. Possible breakout here. Knee to the, oh dear, knee to the back of the head and the elbow, straight to the face. Oh, the combo here by Eo. Oh, knee to the face. And Eo isn't done. She wants to put Candice LeRae down for good she here. Impact. Got every ounce of that one. Get out of her way. She ain't playing. You can see the confidence. Take down now and Eo calling Candice LeRae to her feet. She's on her last legs. Back Super suplex. Nice. That's it. That's what she needed. After all the back suplex she's taken, that could be the most devastating. Candice fights out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can Back take. elbow by a cancel ray. And a close okay. Close line out of the She's ring. Top rope now goes Candice. Candice is avoid oh, oh sorry, you avoid Candice there off the top rope. And into the table now goes Candice oh, LeRae. German be suplex. Be Holding the arm now, just booting their face. Eel just relentless now. Remember, there's a count here for these two women. The make it in by a 10. And it's a double count out. Into the apron goes Larray. Four count. Five now by the ref. What's Eel thinking here? Eo risking disqualification. Eight count now. So I'm guessing it. And now, I don't know what she's planning. Into the corner goes Larray. Block the elbow. Sidewalk slam. Cover. Shoulders on the back. She's to get out of here. Eo fights out. How in the world? He was thinking about using the chair there, decided against it. Uh oh. Jesus Christ, that back suplex has been used so much. Surprised that Candace's body isn't more hurt than originally thought. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars. What's Eo thinking here? here on the lose again. Lining up Lorray for something. Irish whip. Oh, it's backfired. It's backfired for Shirai. I think Candace's head was the one that was meant to go in that chair. And it could be Candace's opportunity. Another cover. Wow. Shirai, the uh, words Shirai managed to stay in. Oh, right hand. Another right hand. Uh -oh. Hurricane Rana connects perfectly. She is on fire. Candice. Some good technique right there. Blocked by Eo. Catching the leg into a suplex. And now Shirai, taunting Lorraine. She's out of it, guys. 
Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. Oh, Off the ropes into a Falcon Arrow. Up gets Larray with the help of EO. Here comes the combo again. Off the ropes in the knee. Oh, man. Wow, what a gritty performance. And now Shirai. The home run touch now on Candice LeRae in perfect position here. Io Shirai finishing off with the moonsault. Beautifully executed. And Io Shirai will win this grudge match right here. Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow. Candice LeRae channeling her husband's resiliency there. Io is, for lack of a better word, pissed off. How did Candice kick out? Face first goes Io. Oh, kind of try to fight back into this match. For all the punishment she's been through, it's going to be a difficult ordeal, but if I don't could do it, she can. Top rope again goes Shirai. Candice's body must be in complete pain. Smart move by Larray there. Neo moves to the outside. There's still that chair there. Still a the threat of that chair. Neo missing a strike. And that's a big bonus for Larray here. Drop kick to the leg. Back elbow to chop. If you're watching my universe mode, you know that the women's matches are pretty good, so obviously this will be no different at the moment. Loray try to just get a last adrenaline surge. I think she's trying to prove it. She reverses out of it. Eo catches the leg, but Candice with Zaguri. I, I'm not sure what that was, but Eo kicks out. Uh, the face buster a little bit, or oh, sorry, not the face buster, but the uh, dramatic a little bit botched there. And now Lorray locking the arm of Eo. Hasn't really done any damage to it, so I'm not sure why this is the play. Eo rolls out. No, there's the reversal. Candice Lorray just the last last gas try to get a second wind here Candice now go for the arm of Eo but remain in this match here Eo takes down Candice lying in wait or standing away I should say not lying at all arm bar in the ropes Michinoka driver blocked by Candice. Shirai blocks Candice here. Suplex. Perfect positioning here for the Moon Salt. Will this be it? Will it be Eels? Time to shine here at TakeOver. Moon Salt connects to absolute perfection. And what a grudge match this has been. Candice LeRae taking a stand against her former friend here, but Io Shirai looks as if she's going to get the victory here, get one over on Candice LeRae, and she does. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. What a fight between these two women, and in the end, it's a victory for Io Shirai. Multiple times where Candice could have won it, this entire match was just one but Eo just striking, suplexing, just working on that body until the moon salt. Here is your winner, e. oh, and Eo Shirai, victorious in this grudge match. Honest, Michael, Up next, I believe it is a triple threat for the North the American title. Eo says it's all about me. I am the winner. Uh, I mean, she's not wrong. 
Anyway, triple threat match up next. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. There is nothing better than championship caliber matches. Three men now are going to be fighting for this North American title. Pete Dunne coming across from the UK, NXT UK brand to challenge for this title. Roderick Strong also involved. I don't know the full story because it's not on Wikipedia and I don't watch a lot of the weekly NXT if I'm being honest. All I know is Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong are challenging. I think that's been the rumour for a while, so must have been some sort of build to it. But the Velveteen Dream has the odds against him in this match. And I'm just going for who I want to win. Or not who I think will win. I mean, Roderick Strong could win it. And it could be an undisputed error, clean sweep. But I don't see it, I don't see it happening. And as much as I want to happen, though, I just don't see it happening. But anyway, here comes the bruise away of the Toronto crowd. But an absolutely mental for Pete Dunn. This was a shock when he came back to the NXT brand from NXT UK, but here he is. And it's weird without him having him no champ. We start our sentence again. It's weird not seeing him with championship gold around his waist. Or in his mouth, I guess, would be more accurate. Anyway, the Bruiserweight looking to become champion once again. And that's why I'm, I, I'm thinking they can't leave him without championship for too long. So that's why I think Pete Dunne captured the title here. That Dunne derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. Most people are predicting an undisputed era clean sweep and they're probably going to be right. But probably going to be right now I said it's not going to happen. But I'm just going for who I, more I want to win, really. I think it's truly for Street Profits to lose their titles. I think EO needs a victory over Candice after losing on the past two takeovers. Or three, I don't even know, I haven't kept count. I think they need to capture Pete Dunne's popularity right now by giving him another title. This young man here is an incredible talent. Roderick Strong for getting his Undisputed Era attire. Literally forgot to put it on him. I knew I'd forget to do something. Yeah, Roderick Strong. You may not like the undisputed error man. You may Coming out in his normal attire. But Roderick Strong is a He's still part of undisputed error, I should say, but he wants to focus on himself in this match, and that's why he's come out with his own attire. We'll just use that excuse. I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I thought I'd put it on him. Anyway. Final man to come in, the champion. The Velveteen Dream. He's here. Hit it. From Capitol Hill, Washington, DC. Weighing in at 227. Here he comes, a North American champion. Held it since February, defended against. Matt Riddle, Tyler Breeze, just to name a few. The impressive raid with the belt. But will it end here tonight or will he continue his glory in the NXT North American Championship? An entrance. Intoxicating, mesmerizing. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all. In-ring skill. He's got charisma. You forget how young Velveteen Dream is with how professional he is in the ring and how and good he is. I think he's like 23 or 24. He's got so many years left in the business if he continues to be a wrestler, obviously. Obviously, he might want to move out of wrestling at some point, but he could go far. Velveteen Dream. I don't think he's defended this title in a triple threat before, so some new ground here. Velveteen. No special attires tonight. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard for me to take my eyes off him. It's dream time. 
What's he doing now? I don't know, Saxton. I don't know what he's doing now. Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream. They'll be ready for both these men here now. This is an intriguing match, to be honest. I don't even know who's going to win it. I'm just hoping Pete Dunn wins it. North American title. Third title. I'm oh, sorry, second title on the line tonight. Two more titles to come up. Women's Championship is Shane Baszler defense against Mia Yim. And then the main event, of course, the three stages of the Hell match. Adam Cole defending his NXT Championship against Johnny Gargano. These two were once an impromptu team that instantly became a formidable threat. Velveteen and Pete Dunne going straight after each other here. And Roderick Strong, of course, got to Pete Dunne as well. You know the history there. Strong's actions cost up more than the tournament. Now Dunne offering to work with Velveteen here on Strong. Oh, Pete Dunne was going to try to get a shot in a Velveteen Dream, but Dream saw it coming. You have to remember that Pete Dunn doesn't typically trust anyone, but he put his trust in Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong got his face rigged, probably deservedly. It's been a year now, or over a year, since Roderick Strong turned on Pete Dunn and joined the Undisputed Era. And now Velveteen, oh, Strong goes for stomps here. And Velveteen Dream's just sitting back, and it's much it's it's with the champion here, although Strong now coming in for Velveteen Dream. See what you like about Roderick Strong. He's got a lot of fight in him. And now the strikes by Dunn. Sending Dream to the outside. Going all the way up. Not going all the way up. Is he going to go for Strong or is he going to go for Dream? Boom. Roderick Strong the target. The challenge is starting to slow but Dream as well. But things can change in an instant. You know, Roderick Strong match. obviously sure have that background. And here, but given how he does have a really forgiven Roderick Strong for that. Roderick Strong setting. A mission on the outside just to try and wear down the body. I think if he'd done more than anything, because you're not going to get the win out here. He done rolls out and a drop kick. Velveteen just taunting. He done with the boot. Beam avoids and up top now goes down again. He catches him. Roger Strong just watching out. This probably isn't the best idea. This probably wasn't the best idea for Dunn to go top rope. Roll his sense on to Dunn, and that's going to keep him out for a little while here. Dunn down to Strong and Dream in the match. Backbreaker, the messiah of the backbreaker, and delivering what he does, what he delivers best. Keep Dunn recovering on the outside here. Oh, Team Dream working on Strong here. Dunn on his way back in. Forearm to Dream and now strong pump handle backbreaker. Did Pete Dunn just stay out of the fight? Big boot now by Pete Dunn. And now in the corner is the Velveteen Dream. Could have in the corner with Pete Dunn, but Velveteen Dream manages to avoid. Across the ring now goes the Bruiserweight. Oh, Dream into the turnbuckle and Pete Dunn back. Suplex. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take off some offense here tonight. He just has to. I've lost the Bruiserweight thinking now. Fork in the arm. Oh, he snaps it. Now Strong going to be on the receiving end as well. Pete Dunn, power bomb, set out into a cover. Ref, count it. Come on. Strong with a fight out. The Bruiserweight showing the American, well, Canadian fans, I guess, the North American fans what they've been missing. Snap, suplex by Dunn to the Dream. Over to Dream. Oh, smart move. Dream with a leg drop. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. And now the unlikely team possibly going to work together on the champion. Double backbreaker. Now staring off with each other. Unfortunately for the champ, momentum is clearly on the challenger's side. Pete Dunn just wildly missing that big boot. Forearm though. And now outside goes. He's lining him up. Roderick Strong. Pete right Dunn. 
Forearm off the second rope. The bruiser weight. Might feel some more championship gold coming towards him. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power rankings, might not be wrong. Velveteen Dream though, There's catching no one-handed, slamming him down. Ranking. Back up now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Outside the ring. There he goes. It's a bruiser weight, and Roderick Strong coming after him. Velveteen and Strong He's chasing each other around. Dream now with the right hands. That's a kidney. Dream blocks. Right hand. Oh, sorry, left hand. That's hit by Strong in the corner now. Rubbing his face along the ropes. Pete Dunn just trying to recover here. Blows lying by Roderick. The triple threat match is definitely. He's got him covered. Velveteen kicked out. Pete Dunn was there for the breakup. And a big boot just takes Roderick out of commission here. Roderick on the ropes now. Off the ropes comes Dunn. Misses the clothesline. And outside goes Dunn again. Stomp and now back in on Velveteen Dream. Just one singular stomp. Another cover. The type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Not counter here. Oh boy. Audrey Strong, not sure what he was looking for. Pete Dunn able to counter. DDT. The X Plex. Velvety Dream. The X Plex reversed. Into an ankle lock. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. Pete Dunn. Takes all team dream down. He's just got no quit in him. Close line to Roderick. Looking for the exclamation. Velveteen Dream. Dream Valley Driver. Here's the pin title on the line. Two. And he got a near fall out of Pete Dunn kicking out the last second. What a match here. Pete Dunn just going back over, not letting Velveteen Dream do the move that he wants. How are we gonna see it? The X Plex blocked again by the Dream. And another ankle lock attempt. Roger Trump is watching on. Doesn't want to get involved unless he has to. Spinning face. Now Roderick. Gonna catch Pete Dunn here. Stops. The undisputed Aaron Man into the corner. Now goes Dunn. Some of the block of the forearm. And this match has been all go. There hasn't been any breaks in this match. Back elbow avoided by Strong. Angler shows his face buster. Pete Dunn reversing it now. X Plex. On the undisputed Aaron Man. Will that be it? Strong kicks out. In this man tonight. Baron Sykes and uh, cheering on Strong here. Obviously, he wants to dispute there to claim all the titles. Reversal by the Dream. Oh, forearm just catch his Velveteen Dream. Lots on the face. And now the Bruiser weight back in control. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean Velveteen Dream now. Could be going into the corner along with Roderick Strong here. I'm not sure what Dan is thinking. Into the corner. Both men go down. Both men roll out. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. He done fixated on Roderick Strong though. Daring Strong to come back in, which he does. He's caught his arm here. Oh no. Stomp on the arm. Roderick Strong, jawbreaker. Strong kick avoided by Dunn. He might have it. Tomorrow lock. Interesting decision here, Corey. Ropes. Save like Strong. Dream taking back to the outside. Now no, Roderick Strong here. is in position here. We could be seeing a new champion. Pete Dunn. We've arrived. Lining up. Bitter end. This one. Here's the pin. Strong somehow kicks out of the bitter end, but you kidding me. You have to wonder how much more it'll take.
Pete Dunn coming back in now. Oh boy. Taking out a year and a half of frustration. Velveteen Dream takes the chair. Russian leg sweep. Strong with a drop kick. Cover now. This could be Roderick Strong's opportunity to become North American champion. And a kick out by the Dream. Pete Dunn recovered outside as Strong and Dream fight out inside. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody Dead lifting the Dream in a slam. Roderick Strong desperate to become North American champion. Once again, going for a cover. Dream kicks out again. He needs to change something fast. Pete Dunn back up to his feet. Dream going for the drop kick. It's missed. Pete Dunn catching the Velveteen Dream now. X Flex lays him out. And now he's looking back to Roderick Strong once again. Pete Dunn can't let his anger with Roderick Strong cost him his match. I don't think it's going to. Pete Dunn. Top rope now with Roderick Strong. Picking the arms. Butterfly suplex off the top. Now Velveteen Dreams in the ring. Pete Dunn picking up the chair. Oh, to the abdomen. It's going to be a DDT on the chair. The North American champion busted open. And this is some action here for the title. Triple threat matches, you can never predict them at the moment. This is an unpredictable war. Into the corner, into the chair goes the dream. Top rope now. This could be Pete Dunn's opportunity. Roderick Strong still on the outside. The moonsault blocked. Good knees by the Velveteen Dream. Strong now back up. Here comes to put the bones of Pete Dunn here. Knee to Dream, but Pete Dunn saw Strong coming in. Butterfly suplex into a cover. Rope saves Strong. And now Pete Dunn once again, the only one standing. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Kick to, sorry, kick to Dream. I was just a kick to Strong. Now Dream to the outside and it's down the two rivals. Pete Dunn tried to do the same kick to Strong. It didn't work. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants Pete Dunn to sending Roger Strong to the outside. Still a lot of animosity there. I don't think that's ever going to cool down. Stomp to the arm. Now Pete Dunn. Oh, he's going with the stomps now to the back. Jesus Christ. He's keeping the line on the arm, though. I really can't believe what's gone down so is he going to snap the arm? Oh, he's going for the fingers. Velveteen Dream just watching here. Pete Dunn and Roderick Strong starting out their issues. Power bomb now. Strong. Another team could take advantage here, throwing Dunn into the ring. Space first off the apron. And Velveteen Dream could be going for that purple rainmaker, except he can't because he's got Move Thief on. He's good for strong. Look at this. Oh! The knee connects, but Dream gets just as bad a landing as Roderick did the knee, and now all three men are down. This He'll be up first. Will it be Dream match. strong Nobody or done? Pete Dunn stirring. Velveteen Dream also making it back to his feet. He doesn't want to do this outside Into the ring, the ring now. He's not going to like this. Velveteen Dream caught by Dunn. Velveteen Dream trying to go for strong again, this, but Pete Dunn. This could hurt. German, German suplex. suplex. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. And he's heading back in. Now Pete Dunn going to go for Roger Strong as well. He misses the clothesline and the cover now by Strong. 
desperate for championship gold. Velveteen Dream counter strong. Into the corner now. The knee. Knee again by Strong. Right between the shoulder blades into the pump handle. Pump handle reversed by the Dream. This could be all she wrote. Armbar attempt. Pete no, done back in. in to save his chances, not to save Roderick Strong. I should make win? that clear. Power bomb. Strong taunting. Oh, what Strong's thinking here, but Pete Dunn's thinking once again on Roderick Strong. Bitter end. Will we have a new North American champion? Oh my days. He refuses to lose. I think Pete Dunn wants to get a victory over Roderick Strong, so you could say he had the victory in the rivalry more or less, but power of him now on Strong ropes again. One action packed match here. Velveteen Dream finally making it back to his feet. Look out. Pete Dunn catching him again. Snap suplex. All three of his men want to be champion. Only one of them can be. Pete Dunn is getting exhausted now. Pete Dunn is going back outside for that chair. Don't underestimate the bruiser weight. I've just seen Velveteen Dream's finishers and signatures. Yeah. There may be no <laughs> it might be an uphill struggle here. <laughs> Dream coming out now to fight Dunn. Not the smartest idea when Pete Dunn has a chair, but he's going for it anyway. Oh, face first. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't Now Pete Dunn looks to be the wanted man here because he's got a chair. Straights are strong. Oh boy, he is rolling. Belly to belly by Dream. T-bone -bone suplex by the Velveteen Dream. No. Velveteen Dream sending the undisputed era man Roderick Strong back into the ring. Boot now busts open. Strong here. What's Dream thinking here? He's not sure what to where to go for Dunn here or Strong. Opts to go for Strong. And now the arm. Now in the corner. Uh-oh. Top rope now. Roderick Strong. Is he the backbreaker him? Oh, on the ropes. Didn't notice Pete Dunn. X Plex. And there it is, boys. Two. Strong kicks out. Barely, but it counts. Velveteen Dream still on the outside. This could be Pete Dunn's opportunity. Blocked by Strong. Oh boy, he is rolling. Backbreaker. Right to the spine. Thought Pete Dunn had it there on Strong, but Strong fighting back in the cover now by Roddy Strong. Pete Dunn fighting out, putting all of his energy into this match. Into the corner. Goes done. Strong turning him around. Right hand. Dunn blocks. Velveteen Dream knocks down Pete Dunn. Yeah, stuns himself in the process. This is gonna be a hell of a. This might. This, this prediction might go three hours. This might be my longest takeover no predictions. Roteen Dream try to get to Roderick Strong. Oh, look at Fireman's carry. It's the Dream Valley driver. Oh, it is. A bit of extra, extra uh, impact on it. German suplex on the Dream. Jesus Christ! This has been a car crash of a match. Roteen Dream now being dragged to the center. Oh, smart move by Dream. Neckbreaker. 
Oh, and taking out the knee is strong. Cover now, Roderick Strong. Kick out. Neither, neither, well, none of these men. I said neither. None of these three men want to lose. Only one of them can win. Strong with a power bomb. Pete Dunn, German suplex. Velveteen Dream. Roll up by Dunn. Any means necessary, will it be a new champion? No. Dream just gets a shoulder up and rolls out. Down now again to Dunn and Strong. This is definitely going to be three hours. Possibly even more. But with this match going nine years in the, the NXT title match, set up power one by Strong, fight out by Dunn. Picking up strong once again, and now Pete Dunn. Butterfly suplex. Pete on the ropes. And the Velveteen Dream. Can't really do anything at the moment. On the outside, unable to protect the title. One of these guys goes for the victory. Drop down. Double drop down by fecking Pete Dunn, and a clothesline cleans the clock. Valley driver Pete Dunn just staying back here doesn't want to get hit by one of those rainmakers. Pete Dunn forearm, a strong forearm to the dream. Just a straight up punch off between Dream and Dunn here. Go to suplex. Sends Pete Dunn to the outside. Will we see the purple Rainmaker tonight? It doesn't seem to look like it. Oh, I could be wrong. Pete Dunn unable to do anything. It could be the Velveteen Dream retaining his title. Will that be it? Pete Dunn couldn't break out the pin in time. The Velveteen Dream, after a hell of a triple threat. Retains his NXT North American Championship. That was all action, all go. A Velveteen Dream, a deserving winner. What a match. Non stop action. The action didn't stop, and in the end, Velveteen Dream picked his spot. Have retained his title. Champion, Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream. He was just better than the other two tonight. That's all there is to it. Still, I think I can safely speak for all of us. Champion here. Amazing contest. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship the fourth is match up for of tonight. Right here. The penultimate match of we Takeover. Of the on the and also, I guess the um. Competition. Second class championship match as well. But the Street Profits retain. We've had um Velveteen Dream retain in that last match. I'm thinking it's gonna be three retains. I've just realized. I don't think it was gonna be three retains at TakeOver Toronto. Hmm. Cause I'm predicting Street Profits to retain, predicting Pete Dunn to win the North American one, but the match didn't why well, win the match, but it was still a fun match. And then um, I'm predicting Shane attached to retain for once. And then I'm predicting Adam Cole to stay on top. Either that or Adam Cole could lose and the Unspirit Dare go up. I don't know. Hard decision to make. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women. Championship. I'm pretty sure Mia Yim won a contenders match for this match, but I don't remember. Here she comes. Possibly Shayna Baszler's toughest test today, but she's had a lot of tough tests, so maybe not. Those tough tests include Ember Moon, Kyrie Sane, 
Bianca Belair, Nikki Cross. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one on one. Io Shirai as well. Sounds to me like this crowd already picked so, one yeah, yeah. to win this match. It's the latest in the long line of challengers. Will we see a new NXT Women's Champion tonight in Mia Yim? Or will Shayna Baszler hold on? I think if Shayna Baszler does retain, the next takeover won't be till, won't be till probably November, which means Shayna Baszler will surpass a year as NXT Women's Champion. But, I don't know. They might not do that. I'm not sure what will happen. But anyway, here comes the Queen of Spades. For once, I'm actually predicting... Shade it to win. Although I think I did last takeover as well. I don't remember. It's the Queen of Spades. A lot of people don't like Shayna, but I think she deserves a year with a tile and then maybe lose it at War Games. If it's another War Games takeover. I hate her at first, I'll be honest, I think. I, didn't like, I really didn't like her at first, but her wrestling is good and her character is good as well, so to give you, some you can't hate that. I mean, you can, but how I don't. Baszler thinks she says this ought to be good. She prefers to break someone's mind before she breaks their body. She's the submission magician. Submission Protégé magician. Rowdy, Queen of Spades. Rousey. Whoever you want to call Shana her, she's Baszler. NXT Women's Champion. So impressive. So dangerous. Might not be after this match, though. So. Sports entertainment, yeah, and she knows it too. Look. Pretty amazing. She Yet to see the first of the MMA four horsewomen to win a title in WWE. Quite the accomplishment for Shayna Baszler. I suppose she was the first of the four horsewomen to win a title. That's a good point. The four horsewomen is in the MMA it's four horsewomen. Mean A Jean. That's close, I guess. That's close to something you can really get. Introducing the champion from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Champion now for I think ten months. So she won it back off Kyrie Sin at Evolution. Nine and a half months. Somewhere along those lines. Nearing three hundred days. She hasn't had it already. Will it be in there? Successful title defense with submission magician. Or will we have a new champion? No one's backing down here. Oh, be a yim backing Shayna into the corner. Straight off the corner and elbow. Will we get a clean break? We will. Oh dear. What a clothesline by Yim. Long distance drop. And Shayna just trying to create some space here. Me a yim. Scouting the champion here early on. And this could be the toughest defense. Me again thrusting the th ropes back into Shane Baszler's throat the here. here Even a poll on, WWE .com on the arm now. Predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Me again reversed by Baszler. But Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever seen Shayna Coward so much like this in the early going. Ooh, Hip attack by Yim. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, Michael Cole thinks we're going to crown a new champion. He might not be wrong at the moment, point. but Shayna but Baszler with the suplex a might point. slow down Mia Yim here. Might. Good luck here, I guess. Just 
Why have I got a WWE thing? I already watched that WWE. I heard the thing off the WWE YouTube channel saying how Buddy Murphy named Rowan as the attacker of Roman Reigns. I don't know why that's come up randomly because I've already seen that. Shayna Baszler looking to wear down the skull. Smart idea by Baszler. Heated knees. Ain't gonna help Yim. Now good to the arm as well. Oh, we're not gonna see this, are we? We've seen this too many times. Okay, it's just a, I think it's just a hand stomps. Which is, I say okay, it's just a hand stomps, but that's just as bad. Shayna laughing on the, there's a challenger on the floor. Can't do anything to fight back at the moment. Shayna's taken back over as she does in most title matches, but Mia Yim fights out. Hip attack again, knocks Shane to the floor. Oh my forearm. Another dreadful suplex, not by Baszler. Back suplex as well. Shane to Baszler, the Queen of Spades, showing why she's run the women's division in NXT for so damn long. First title, her first NXT women's title match was at the start of 2018. And now we're into August 2019. Guys, she could like still be champions 2020, one depending one on what the re decide to do. Oh, this is a move I was scared of. Stomping on the arm of Mia Yim. Oh, God. Shada Baszler. Taking over complete control here. And looking as if she'll continue that reign. But Mia Yim suits the legs. Drop kick. The outside now goes Baszler. Smart move by the women's champion here. Right hand uh, blocked by Baszler. Baszler trying to go top rope, but me I'm noticing. Baszler getting down and strikes now by Baszler. She runs a tight ship as NXT women's champion. And here she goes again with the strikes. This time they're blocked by Yim. Back suplex. Knee drop by Mia Yim. Will we see a new NXT Women's Champion? It could be soon. Mia Yim. Calling Shayna up and taking her down. Close line, sweeping the leg. Will we have a new champ? Big move coming, reversed into a roll up. Shoulder up. She's able to get out of the way there. Shayna Gerber suplex again. I was thinking they going to fight here for the clutch, but maybe a little bit early in the competition. German, oh, not German suplex. I heard German suplex on my stream back. I was like, wait. <laughs> Splash to the back. Now a German suplex. Mia Yim flips out of it. Smart move. I don't know her nickname, so. <laughs> Can't refer to it. Mia Yim now sending Shane across the ring. Hip attack once again. It's are down in the corner and some stomps now and a knee to Mia Yim. Wait, Mia Yim with the knee to Shayna Baszler. Eh. Bleh, my brain. My brain is all of this. Not Mia Yim bragging on the outside here. She's got the Queen of Spades down. Should take advantage for bragging because Shayna can fight back more than anyone. Spinning back fist, this time blocked by Baszler. And the Kirafuda clutch on the outside. Interesting, interesting decision here. Try to pass Mia Yim out on the floor. Mia Yim. And he's out on the floor, but it doesn't matter. Shayna Baszler back in. Is she going to really win by Kanar here? Is this really going to be it? Especially given how intense the match has been. Shayna arguing with the referee to count faster.
And me, EM65, she's back here with a Russian leg sweep, I think. I don't know if she had let the ref continue counting, that would have been it, but... She doesn't like the speed of the count. Now the arm, talk about... Irony, Mia Yim going to the arm. Shane Baszler now, cover. Thought Mia Yim was done on the outside. Baszler with a kick out. Thought Shane Baszler retained by count out there. Mia Yim was out on the floor, but managing to recover. And now, fighting back in this one against Baszler. What is Mia Yim thinking here? What could Mia Yim possibly be thinking on Shayna Baszler? I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's Top been rope so now. Physical. This could be trouble. No Kick right now by and Mia Yim. So Another one. The third one this time blocked by Baszler. Cross body. Mia Yim. Are we going to have a retain uh, here? No, we're not. Mia Yim takes take? out. She's still in this one. She dodges that one. Oh, we're gonna have a retain there of the uh, title across body. I thought Mia Yim was out for good, especially after taking that curve of the clutch and passing out nearly on the outside. Maybe she was playing possibly, but she hadn't really passed out. I don't know, but she's not back in this match. Even more than she was before, a second win now. They have to be on fumes right now. Back suplex on the outside. Four count says referee. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. But the point of the elbow right in the nose. Point of the elbow. Straight into Baszler. Mia Yim. Top rope. Look at this. Splash avoided by Baszler and Mia Yim on the mat. Baszler looking stack it up, Mia Yim. Kick out. She's going to try to hold on however she can to her NXT Women's title back on the arm again. And this, oh, stomping on it. Don't know how I've got arm damage and she hasn't when I've been stomping the hell out of it. Entire, entire match. There we go. It's what you like to see. You love to see it. German suplex blocked by Mia Yin. Will we see it this time? Running sound power bomb. Will that do the job here? The force of that impact should be able to check. Oh, he knows that Shayna could kick out of it. Back on the arm, though. She's calling for it. And Yim now lining up. She's turning the tables. Turned around. Look at her go. Here for the clutch blocked. Yim Yu. Who's gonna let Shayna get one over on her there? You gotta believe this one's over. Kick to the back of Shayna. Now we're in the, in the middle of the ring in the cover. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Shayna Baszler. Shayna kicks no out. out. Wow. That's Queen of Spades. Power, Won't go down easily. I think Mia Yim knows this. Momentum clearly in her corner. Sal Powerbomb once again. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. Why she's not covering after that? I'm not sure why she's not covering after that. That could have been. I mean, the first one she, she probably kicked out, but Shane, I don't think we got that one. Harsh impact. Yeah, Mia Yim. She's got her where she wants her. Calling her up here. She's looking at it. Package pile driver reversed by Baszler, and luckily, she because that could have ended Shayna's career. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize what she was going for. No. Mia Yim. Gonna be on the receiving end. The carry for the clutch. And just like everyone else before her, Mia Yim could well yes. couldn't stand it and had to tap. It's either you tap or you pass out. There's literally no in between. That package pile driver could have ended 
more than Shayna Baszler's NXT title run. Luckily, she fought out and in the end retained her NXT Women's Championship. Powerbomb after powerbomb. We thought I was going to do it, perhaps, but That's the kind of match that makes didn't. me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the Shayna Baszler went for the cure footer there. It got blocked, as you see forget. right there with the right hand. And we saw the package pile driver attempt. Luckily, Shayna Baszler managed to block it. And she caught the curve for the clutch on Mia Yim. And Shayna Baszler continues her reign of dominance. But now, you have to question, if Mia Yim doesn't dethrone her, who can? Because she's taken out pretty much everyone in the NXT Women's Division. Who can defeat the Queen of Spades? Now we're up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's the main event. Three stages of hell. Obviously, it's going, to be separate, it's going to be separated into three separate falls, three separate matches on the stream, but you'll all see it together on the video anyway. So, first stage, obviously, will be the singles match, then the street fight, and then whatever William Regal picks. I think he's going to pick the ladder match, so that's what I've gone for for that one. All right, well, main event time. These two men are about to put each other through literal hell. So you come NXT champion. The build it as a two out of three falls match. But we've already had one of them. So I'm building it as a three stages of hell match. First fall will be a singles match. Second fall will be a street fight. And if necessary, third fall will be picked by William Regal. As I've said already multiple times, I've picked that as a ladder match. But I don't know what it will be. So here comes the main event. Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling. This is Cole versus Gargano 3. Trilogy. We had, yeah, we had a trilogy before between Gargano and Ciampa. Now we're getting another Gargano trilogy. This time against the Undisputed Era leader, Adam Cole. And this could go a while. Will it be Johnny Wrestling who leaves a two-time NXT champion or will Adam Cole hold on to the gold? So Adam Cole picked the first fall, which is a singles match. Johnny Gargano picked the second fall, which is a street fight. William Regal picked the final fall. Gargano is here and here comes the NXT champion wait for it wait for it God, I love when he does that. Adam Cole has a lot of fans here in Toronto from Panama City Florida weighing in at 205 pounds the NXT champion Three stages of hell. The leader of Undisputed Era. From a journey around the world to bursting on the scene at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Adam Cole is finally on the big stage where he's wanted to be all along. Triple, the only two Triple Crown champions statement has been very right simple. now in NXT. Shock the system. Triple Crown for NXT, of course, is the NXT Championship, the NXT North American Championship, and the NXT Tag Team Championships. Johnny Gargano held the Tag Team Championships with Tommaso Ciampa, won both the North American and NXT Championships this year. As for Adam Cole, held the Tag Team Titles with Kyle O'Reilly while Bobby Fish was injured. Or it was a Freebird Undisputed Era uh, reign anyway, Freebird rules. And then... North American Championship won it NXT TakeOver New Orleans last year and beat Johnny Gargano at NXT TakeOver 25 to win his first NXT Championship. Johnny Gargano headlock. Adam Cole into the ropes with Johnny Gargano. Drop down. 
leapfrog. Give us a show here tonight. Johnny Wrestling is hoping to show his opposition just how he earned. Go to Gargano, snap suplex. Both fights out. A Russian leg sweep. These two know each other so well by now. Trilogy matches. Take over New York. Johnny Gargano won the two out of threes falls match to claim the vacant NXT championship. Then the NXT takeover 25. Adam Cole defeated Gargano to win the NXT title off of him. Now we're in the third and final match of three stages of hell. Technically, we're not in the third match at all. We're in the, the well, third out of five because it's a possible possible go to three stages. If Adam Cole or Johnny Gargano wins the first two, then it's over like that. But I think everyone knows, everyone and their dog knows that they're not going to have them do that. We're going to have Regal come in and do something to try and maybe screw over Adam Cole. I don't know. In the end. Adam Cole come out on top, in my personal opinion. Into the corner, now goes Gargano. Adam Cole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Savoring that last one there, you saw just stopping for a second. Adam Cole doesn't want to lose his title on the first time of asking like Gargano did. The headlock applied by Adam Cole. Perfect, perfect start here by the Undisputed Era man. Johnny Gargano fighting out with a jawbreaker. And that's one way of getting Adam Cole off you. Into the corner now. Gargano, oh, slammed down by the Panama City Playboy. Forearm, falling up with a boot. Johnny Gargano sent to the outside now. Try to recover. Adam Cole, oh, reversing Gargano there with the Enziguri. Now begging, pleading for Gargano to get up. Crossbody. Oh, it's avoided by Gargano though. Thought he caught a little bit of it there, but no. Knee by Cole. And a super kick to the gut. Followed by a German suplex. These guys will tear each other apart for this NXT championship. You better believe it. Gargano won't give up though, and neither will Adam Cole. Adam Cole down on the knee with Gargano. Gargano hasn't really got into this match yet, to be honest with you. Armbar attempt, but it would look safe Gargano. Michinoku driver. So, uh, Gargano now, got Cole. Step off, come back here. Rolling through and the kick to the side of the head. I'm Cole in perfect position for that lawn dart. And Gargano knew it too, we both knew it. In the end, Adam Cole. This advantage, looking for Florida Keys. Gargano counters it. Adam Cole ends the Guri, and now he's going to plant Gargano down. Head first. Gargano busted open, and that, he busted open that early. That's not a good sign. Another backbreaker. I, uh, I don't know how that worked, but sure. I'm cool just controlling Gargano here. Oh, here we go. Florida Keys by Adam Cole. Gargano gets a shoulder up somehow. The impact on that would finish off anyone else, but Gargano isn't just anyone else. Neck breaker. Both these guys giving all they've got to be NXT champion. Gargano cups for the second time. Into the corner now. And Adam Cole 
Can't stop the lawn dart this time, straight into the turnbuckle. Will that be the first fall here? Adam Cole kicks out. Gargano throwing goal. Especially after the great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I think Gargano's losing with Gargano escape there. Cole able to block. Now just waiting for Gargano. Gargano blocks and sweeps the leg. Like I said, both these men know each other. Probably more than their own families at this point. A close line to the outside. Adam Cole sent to the floor. to pick up the win? Face first. But Gargano still fights back. Body wrestling. I mean, a count out is viable. That will be the first fall. Adam Cole doesn't have the championship advantage here. It'd be the first fall to Gargano if Cole gets counted out. Gargano's still standing close to the ropes and Cole taking advantage of that situation. Neck breaker. Off the ropes goes Cole. Jawbreaker. Adam Cole seems to be in the best shape of his career right now. Johnny Gargano doesn't seem to be uh, faring all that well. But if you know Johnny Gargano, still got a lot of fight to go. Forearm to Gargano. Shots to the back. And this could spell the end of the early, early first fall here for Gargano. Top rope. Pull. Good. Line us up here. Back suplex off the top. Connect perfectly. Now Cole feels he has Gargano exactly where he wants him. Lining him up here. If he sticks this, he is done. Oh, oh, down on the knee. Sorry, up Brain Buster. He's down on the knee. Gargano out again. What does it take to keep this man down? Nobody knows. Suplex. Oh, Gargano with the block. Oh, Cole's in trouble. Face buster. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. That's one of those moves where you check. Let's go, Gargano kind of skip there. I was like, wait a minute, hold on a second. Worked on the arm of Adam Cole. Johnny Gargano. Setting up the super kick. Cole blocks. No super kick of his own. And the knee. Will we have the first fall right here? Not just yet. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Johnny Gargano kicks out. I don't know how long this match will go in real life. Yushikoroshi by Adam Cole. It's intense. I think he was looking to go Panama Sunrise there, but Johnny Gargano is smart enough to get out of it. And the blood running down Gargano's face. He's going to need to get patched up before the second, second fall here. Adam Cole, top rope. Do whatever it takes. Elbow drop. Calling up Gargano again. Gargano's taking a lot of punishment in this first fall. Florida Keys. Opting not to go for the cover. Watch how smart that is. Gargano dodges and sends Adam Cole to the outside. One count now. This has been a battle. Gargano planted, planting Adam Cole, the fisherman driver. Devastating elbow. Boom. Right between the eyes. Jesus Christ. Strikes a plenty here and back into the ring. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? 
Bryce Gargano go for a springboard attempt there. On the arm now, Cole. These guys are going to be exhausted after tonight. Three stages of hell, cover and a kick out. Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano. Can be a rivalry for the ages, and this match could top it all off. I'm real. This is the match I'm most looking forward to tonight. Bar none. Bar absolutely none. I don't even know who's going to win it. Cole missing the elbow. Outsmarts oh, Gargano though by sending him back in the ring. That's Adam Cole showing some agility. Neckbreaker. Now to the outside. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Adam Cole. Oh no, 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 no. This isn't required. This isn't required. DDT on the apron. That's worth another look. Yeah, I want to see that again. And Adam Cole might have laid Gargano out. He knows he's in trouble. Call Gargano up though. Possibly the nail in the coffin here. Into the table. Ushiguroshi once again on the outside. Five count now for Cole. Throwing a bloody Gargano into the apron. And it might be a count out for this first fall. I think you know how Adam Cole picked this. Referee. Have eight. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this. Nine. Somebody gets seriously injured. Gargano somehow beats the count. <laughs> He's run straight in to another knee. Oh, the down. ropes. Adam Cole bringing Gargano into the center of the ring now. I'm probably wasting too much time. Well scouted. Oh, Gargano dodged that one. Gargano. Going for the arm now. Any means necessary to win this first fall. Whoever wins this first fall has the advantage for the match, really. Because the other person has to get two straight falls, and it might not be possible. Kick out by Adam Cole. Nice kick out. Drop kick to the back, Johnny Gargano. Ooh, what impact. Head scissors and elbow to the head as well now. Maybe try to bust Adam Cole up and give him a taste of his own medicine here. Cole sweeping the leg. Now Gargano sweeping the leg as well. Well, you'd be going for another long dart on Cole. He is playing a long dart straight into the turnbuckle. Just when you thought he had nothing left, he's got the shoulders down. Cole kicks out. What a gutsy performance! Gargano. Is he gonna Gargano escape out of Cole here? The ropes. Bernard with Cole's favor here. That would have definitely been the first fall, I think, there uh, towards Johnny Gargano. The lawn dart, and then the Gargano escaped straight after. Face first because Gargano, holy Christ. This is just the first fall as well, and these guys are just tearing each other limb from limb. Fucking super kick. Florida Keys. The ropes again. Adam Cole, this is gonna Adam Cole be knows what it'll take, knows what he has to do here. He has to hit the home run shot. In the corner now. Oh no. Ooh, there's the kick. 
Adam Cole. Panama Sunrise. Cover now on Gargano. Are you kidding me? This is only the first fall. He's using all his guts to fight out here. Adam Cole uh -oh. try to work more on that head. Nope, reverses it. Adam Cole works enough on the body and head of Gargano. But Gargano might not even be able to sustain a second fall. Gargano turning it around though, inverted DDT on the champion. We saw a lot of singles matches between these guys and they've always been good. This could top it all and it might even be the end of the match. Now Gargano with a cover. Kick out by Cole. Too early in the match to end it. Oh, oh man. Ed scissors now. On Cole. He's busted open. These guys tear each other limb from limb here. And Adam Cole, will he get the fall here? He's gone for the pin. This could be three. And he does. Well, winner of the first fall there, you see it, Adam Cole. Some superstars doing what they do Jesus best here. Christ, the after all that, uh, Adam Cole sneaks the first like fall. A lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Adam Cole hit all his shots there. Wouldn't keep Gargano down, but Gargano was caught off guard. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. At the end of the day, Gargano, Gargano's asking if that was really a free. Adam Cole's laughing at him, taking a break outside the ring. Gargano's pissed that he lost the first fall like that. Adam Cole went outside the ring, recovering a little bit here, celebrating the fact he's won the first fall. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, will be the second fall of this match, the street fight. All right, street fight time. First fall went to Adam Cole. The competitors are getting cleaned up. I'm just cleaning the blood, but besides that, I'm just gonna go back to war like they already have. Street fight time for Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano. And should Johnny Gargano win this? Both men rushing each other. Should Gargano win this? It will go to a third stage of hell, which Molly Regal will be chooser of. Never was a street fight. Anything goes. Ball has to take place in the ring, though. Gargano immediately out of the gate the slam Boom. right hands now doesn't pull taking him down out the corner and drug to the back of the head we're gonna start try this out strong in the street fight pay-per-view here has to be a thrill for these fans i can tell you that when backlash came to washington dc in 2000 neck breaker by cole you couldn't get not sure what kirkhan was planning but it didn't work kirkhan on all the boots i saw cole's boots to gargano and the early cover just desperate to get his street fight over and retain his title and that backlash 2000 car that Byron brought up earlier must have been blocks. the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. How has he got the strike end, first? The Rock being real, being the game real here, again. WWE Championship, despite oh. Mr. McMahon stacking the deck. Where goes the top rope? You can go to the top rope, buddy. That's not what I did. Looking for all the glory here. Yeah, I don't believe it. He was he was literally in the corner, but okay, roll up attempt by Gargano. 
Anything he can take to a final fall here. He needs to get the final fall. Does Gargano cool wins this cool? Leaves the Gargano doesn't even get a fall. Doesn't even get a decision in this match. Oh, glancing kick. Cole avoiding the slam. Oh, drop to hold though to second rope. We're going off the outside now off that move. Got a chair. And Cole's on the apron. This is not a smart, or not the best place, I should say. It's more instinct is taking him out there. Gargano couldn't hit a barn door with a banjo, apparently. I don't know why he's directing away from Adam Cole there with the chair. This, I don't know why this game's so broken. <laughs> I might rant a little bit this game because it's so bloody broken. Or I'm now by Cole. These guys are on the outside. Remember, there's no count outs, no disqualifications. Anything goes in a street fight. Gargano blocking Cole. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Cole fights off Gargano. And now back in the ring goes Adam Cole. Makes a hell of a Gargano, obviously. Uh, Gargano has a chair blocked, a super kick to the back of the head. Gargano now on the outside. I mean, there's hasn't really, not been a lot of street fighting. It's more been in the ring kind of thing. But now Adam Cole sending Gargano to the outside. He's lining him up. Lining up, Johnny Wrestling here. Cross body connects, perfection. Harry Vince, Harry Ward there for Adam Cole. Adam Cole continuing what he did in the first fall to Gargano. Blocked by Johnny Wrestling. He's looking to plant Adam Cole on the outside here, face first. Oh, he does. That's gonna help. Not gonna help Jesus with Cole. As he said, it was the wrestling classic in the feature of the 16-man tournament. The whole chance that these guys get busted open again, and they're probably gonna try and do it to each other. Gargano with the chair. Cole fights off Gargano. Back in the ring now. Cole loves in ring fights. Gargano loves the street fighting brawls. Two different competitors. Alright, no, for real though. Bought, everyone saw that. The boot went through Adam Cole. I don't know what to tell you. Adam Cole catches. Gargano plants him. And now. Cover again. I'm so pissed off that I booted the net though because it was right in his fucking skull. I don't know how you can justify that it isn't, really. Cross face right hands by Cole. He's fighting back here. They're gonna block and a Boston Crab attempt now. Trying to Cole submit. He's stumbling some now. He came into this match looking for a fight. And it looks like he found one. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell Gargano you what, he's not the hold. so hot right now. He's you really going to that, just to deliver more punishment. This thing. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his Another chair. back into this match. Bull avoids the first time, and he avoids the second time. Back elbow, first carry take over by Gargano. Fisherman driver. Gargano taking out his frustrations here on Adam Cole. Incensed the one first fall by a roll up. Stomp now. And Gargano. Boot avoided by Cole. I don't mind when they avoid the boot, like as a reversal, it's just when the boot actually goes through him. It's it just. Why though? <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. This game really confuses me. I'm striking first and it's still getting him to have a register for the hit. This is going to be the rant match where I rant about this game and how fucking much it pisses me off. <laughs> Currently, because everything I seem to do, Cole just seems to be able to transform it 
so it doesn't happen. Anyway, Cole got, got, got on the floor again. Stomp on the hands. Very wrestling. I own Cole. Thinking about what he has to do to keep Gargano down again. He's done it once. Gargano blocks again, though. When this guy's on, look out. Now Adam Cole in the corner. That's what I'm thinking. Londart. Oh, no. Mm, okay, maybe not Londart. He's a bit more than the Londart. Superplex. I can't remember if we saw it the first fall or not, but we've seen it now. Remember, anything goes in this match, including death defying drops like that. Will Adam Cole be able to fight back and retain his NXT Championship? At the moment, it doesn't look like it. They're going to allow Adam Cole to fall. He's going to plant him on the outside again. Face first. Goes Adam Cole. I got about to work with a chair now. Wearing out a chair at Adam Cole. Adam Cole try to avoid the chair by any means necessary. Back suplex. Oh no, just dropping him. Elbow drop. DDT on the chair as well. That might call it this match actually, or this fall, this part of the match. Two count. But DDT on the chair might actually get Adam Cole, or but I was wrong. Reversal by Cole. Super kick. Oh, Florida Keys. Kind of fights out the Florida Keys. He's going for a second cover, desperate to keep his title, and Gargano kicks out again. And now Adam Cole lining up Gargano, and he connects with a knee, and we may see your retain here. But we may not as well. Sorry, Gargano, after everything, both of you better take, take in this match. Gargano's still able to fight out. Absolutely insane how, uh, how much no punishment these the men can take. Mechinoku driver. And Gargano. What's he thinking here? Top rope, miles away from Cole. Oh, just caught him, I think. It's not exactly how he wanted to, but he caught him enough. He knows he's in trouble. And now Adam Cole in trouble. I got a lighting him up. Uh, yeah, Slip to spear. Blah, 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 blah. Missed it. Whatever. He's hitting. Back, stabber. And a cover. I got a fight, so he will kick out as much as he can. He will stop at nothing to equalize this match. I think this has been less brutal than the first match, the first fall and it's a street fight. Neither man's been busted open yet. Let's see yet. I mean it can't happen. Johnny Gargano launching Cole away. Right hand. And planted. And now he's calling Cole back up. He can't take much more. Oh, okay. I'm sent for longer than that. Ushiguroshi, avoided by Gargano, Hurricane Rana. Now, could go face first here for Cole. Face Buster. Will that be it? Will the referee look count to three? 
No, he was a two count on Cole. Gargano's looking to end it. Harsh impact. I think Gargano looking to bust up and Cole again since Cole busted up and Gargano the first fall. I mean, they busted each other open eventually, but. Gargano wants blood. I mean, he wants the NXT Championship, of course, but he wants blood as well. There he goes. He's got it. Tenderizing Adam Cole with that chair. Now he's going for it again. He's got Adam Cole lined up. Everyone seems to know how to predict this now, but... Well, Adam Cole, yes he will. Okay, I just called wrong. Everyone seems to know how to put it in there. Adam Cole, any means necessary. He's cheating, Rick. He's cheating. He's not cheating. There's no hold barred, Cole. body on body there, but that's about it. Yeah, this early, no chance. Cole tried to tell the referee. Uh oh. Cole's cheating. Cole telling on Cole. But it doesn't matter because no hold barred. Kick by Gargano. He's talking his opponent. From oh, rope. Top oh, Cole's on the outside. Gargano just catching Cole. He caught himself as well. Look at up first here. Both of these men now outside on the floor. Each other through a lot of this match. This far. It's been so physical. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide right open. This hasn't even been as physical as the first match, I would say, or the first fall. Gargano trying to ramp up the physicality. Stairs, Cole luckily avoids them. got such a favorable spot in this week's power rankings. But not to me. Seems perfectly logical. Oh, Sneeze came on there. I'm just glad I managed to meet the mic in time. Upstairs do hate Cole. And Gargano has lost it here. Gargano's lost it. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he Sending Cole into the crowd. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? How does that even hmm. What a hellaciously physical match these are going just looking around the crowd through the intensity of this has been incredible There's some more weapons crash can here oh wait can I oh a minor miracle might be Oops. needed oh it disappears nice beating oh, oh, I actually forgot to bring out the area to be honest Cool, daring Gargano to come back in. And he does with a bang. Now throwing back out. Cole Colin just try to create space now. Roundhouse kick. Adam Cole just try to recover a bit. Oh, there's always got up top. Again. He's almost got him. He's a good cross body. Johnny Gargano. Whatever he was going for, he missed it. And now he's in deep trouble. Beautiful Gargano is going to plant Cole here. Face first on the outside. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Gargano looking towards that announce table. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Gargano daring Cole. And uh, maybe not the best idea there, Adam Cole. Gargano fights out. This has been a bad Into the corner of the table. That might hurt more than going through the thing. Gargano's looking I guess we'll it. find out because Gargano's got Cole out on the table now. <laughs> and what's he thinking? I literally don't understand this game. Elbow drop blow by Gargano. Now it's time to capitalize. This is awesome. The way that Gargano can just 
go through ropes. Insane. All right, Gano. Just have a plan this here. Press move. Oh, make it about to his feet. It has been a war. The war's probably far from over here. There's been a lot of Gargano. talk about superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, off the ropes comes Cole. Drop down. Leapfrog. Cole powers out. And it's backfired on Gargano. Oh dear. Cole really so Gargano to get out. What a cheat. Cover. Oh, Gargano does kick out. Wow, I am impressed. Cole's just putting the boost to Gargano now. It doesn't know what it'll take. Gargano close line. Off the ropes again. Drop down. Leap frog. No, not a leap frog. So he's still a leap frog after the drop down, but Gargano taking Cole by surprise. And now measure of revenge into chair goes Cole. Hurricane Rana. Cole to the outside. Gargano cross body corkscrew variety. Gargano getting up first despite taking a bad spill there, to be honest. I wish I could tell you guys what this superstar thinks of this week's power. Back in the ring rankings, now. But when I asked, the only thing I got was a no comment. Cool. Lightning fast Takes on Gargano. And he feels like he has this match in hand. And he may do, I mean. Don't know. Gargano fighting off Cole. The Florida Keys. Florida Keys to Gargano. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Will that do it? To come back now. On the mat. No. no. Oh my He's god. That kick out shows the heart of Johnny Wrestling. He will not quit. Johnny Gargano will not die. Counter here. Gargano counters. And now it's the corner goes full. Oh, my. oh. Wait a minute. Set him up for something here. Set him up. Oh, cool. The stomp. And he plants. Johnny Gargano. Now those cross faces again. Well, we thought Gargano had Cole at some point. Well, we thought that at some point this match. We thought Cole would have Gargano as well. Drama here at TakeOver Toronto. Now Johnny Wrestling wants to take out Cole permanently here. Bringing in the steps. And he does take him down. And he could be lighting up here. Get back up. Gargano busted open. Back elbow by Cole. Uh oh. Super kick. Cole just saving himself there. Gargano plants. Cole here. He's setting up for the corner kick. That's it. Gargano equalizes. No, he doesn't. Too early for that. Now Gargano lining up for it again. And it connects again. This one is over. 
Jesus Christ. We got Gano not going for cover. Oh, he's doing one final one just to ensure that Cole stays down. The count. Three kicks in a row. That's got to end this street fight right here. Will we have one all? We do. Johnny Gargano ties the scores here. Here's another quick look at some of the match highlights. maybe not as brutal or maybe more brutal I don't know as the first match Johnny Gargano three super kicks in a row that was just one of those matches keeps having to pull down for the count just be proud to be a part of a legendary performance and ladies and gentlemen I gotta go to that third fall I've already predicted what William Regal will pick I'm predicting he'll pick a ladder match that's what we're going to next I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. Johnny Gargano. Indeed, a great match. Phil Green, he's tied. The score is here. One step closer to regaining the NXT Championship. But he's just got one more grueling test to go through. German suplex. That nickname. Oh, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. Oh, you meant the wrestling part. Jesus Christ. Adam Cole out the gate, not dicking around. This is his title on the line. The final chance for these men. Taken down by Cole with a slap. Oof. The amount of punishment both these guys have taken. I don't know how the match isn't over already. I don't know how they're not finding it easy to put each other away, but. Aaron Cole. Oh my god! That kicks in Gargano. Tumbling into a ladder. He's not going to like this. And that's the danger he of these ladder matches. Cross body oh, connects to perfection. Got half four now. I don't even know if I'm going to get this up before the actual takeover to Toronto. I'll be well. If I edit it, if I can edit and render it quickly, and then the up and it should be good. Adam Cole sending Gargano into the crowd. Or Cole didn't want to fight in the crowd. Now he wants to keep Gargano away from the title, so it doesn't make sense really. So I punched him like three times, and you guys like barely that far back anyway, and he punched me once, and I'm back over here again. Cool. Sense, sense make get roundhouse honestly. I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agreed. I don't think anybody expected Gargano sent to the mat. Adam Cole, a ladder. But hey, and these guys are going to do everything they can now. Any superstar can beat. And that includes try to hit Gargano with a ladder that won't bloody work because Gargano's invincible. That's Adam Cole showing some of Adam Cole. Either go for the plan of climbing up quickly or blocking Gargano's path by throwing the ladder out the ring. It looks like he's going for the ladder there. Another slap to Gargano. And Cole check the Cole baby chance going, but everyone's exhausted from what they've seen tonight. Right and left by Gargano, blocked by Cole. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses. Russian leg sweep. A new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one now a chair. Up to this point, and I think it's all going to get better. Nobody controls the pace of a match. I'll say Gargano's better at such street guy. fights, but Adam Cole gave him a good run for his money here in this match. And the chair in the corner. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior. Never mind, look at her voice back. Johnny Gargano's 
Paul took too long. Gargano's going to counter with a back elbow. Despite having an impressive spot in this Into the crowd goes Cole. I'm told this superstar Gargano coming over as well. With things like that. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers of by Gargano having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition. That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making these guys taking the fight to the stage now. He's heading that direction. These guys out on the stage. Here we go. Inverted, DDT. Inverted DDT. These guys fight can't even be contained inside the ringside area. All the way up on the stage now. I don't know why the crowd's looking towards the ring when the action's all up here. Gargano could have cooled down here and could go for that title if he wants to. Although, a little more punishment. Makes a no-coup driver. And he's going. Gargano's going. Cole needs to get up. Or Gargano's going to get a championship with no competition here. Pull and chase of Gargano. Go oh, into the apron. I think Gargano knew that Cole had recovered, but he has the backstabber. What we got here? By Adam Cole. Adam Cole picked his moment there. He caught him slipping. What's Another ladder being brought out by Cole. He's in control. Down goes Gargano. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. He has something big planned. What's he gonna do with it? Put it Slap place. again. <laughs> Gargano just try a call trying to keep Gargano out of the picture. What's the plan here with all these ladders? I don't even could even begin to know. Slipping. The ladder isn't quite lined up right. Cole, I am fully anticipating this to end poorly. I got him locked down with the ladder. Adam Cole got a chair in one corner and three ladders in the others. Gargano gets Irish whipped, he's getting hurt, whatever happens. That's if he goes into a corner, which he doesn't. Adam Cole daring Gargano to get back in. Playing his head saying this is smart, smart strategy. And it is. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. German suplex. Once again. A knee. We fought to the stage and now we fought back to the ringside area. Adam Cole taking about a table. It's been fixed during the break between the two falls but spots get broken again I think there's been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings but if you ask me those things are overblown never mind Adam Cole doesn't have OMG table safe Harsh impact. off the table though goes Gargano into the barricade instead Adam Cole relentlessly punching Gargano here Try to incapacitate him until he can no longer fight back. It's going to be a difficult job, but Michinoku driver down by Gargano. He's got three choice of the ladders in the ring. He's picked one here. Set it in place here. Northern Light Suplex. Gargano looking to come back. Into the ladder. Here we go, everybody. Cole reversing. This is the exact moment this superstar has been waiting. Boot by Cole. Gargano over the top rope. Close to go to the chair. 
All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder. And Adam Cole could climb the ladder. I don't think. I don't know why he isn't actually. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder than when you're the only one in the ring. Adam Cole. But as we learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory, especially at this point. thinking here. Michael, climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had people. Paul Daring Gargano's come in and he will. Into the ladder. Irish now into another ladder. Drop kick into the ladder to Gargano. And Adam Cole's having fun here. Now the chair, the next object of torture. Now Adam Cole. Cole got a ladder from under the ring. Walking around the city earlier today, guys. Already the only thing three ladders within the, the ring. Was this title match. I'm calling another one out now. From the coffee shop to the bookstore. Uh oh. Florida Keys. Florida Keys. Man, I'm cool. Reversal by Gargano. Drop kick. Oh, there's the old. Similar experience as you this morning near the match and rightfully so. This is what every can keep pulled out working the arm. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you Cole went to the gym. Man, that's brilliant. Do you have any other jokes? I gotta check a ladder. Cole not allowing it to happen. Right I'm hoping a ladder and Gargano projecting that as well. Into the oh, onto the ladder, off the ropes. Gargano. Gargano thinking lawn dark. Everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find Gargano. Lawn dark. That might just be the final. That might be it here. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Cole struggling back. Oh. Uh, oh, kind of knocking down Cole. Cole just try to get his wherewithal here. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. The long way. Now Gargano, Gargano going for the title, holding everything he can to stop him here. Uh oh, powerbomb off the ladder. Now them pull. Stuck on where to climb up or whether to deliver more punishment. I think he's picked his answer here. Cole. Let's go kind of onto that ladder. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Cole lands on the ladder. Well, Cole again. Off the ladder goes Gargano. Gargano just saving his life by not going through it at the hands of Adam Cole. A minor miracle might be needed to Into overcome now. this beating. The champ. Got him to the laptop. Incoming. Elbow drop. Adam Cole was thinking of putting Gargano through that ladder. Luckily Gargano's escaped, but... Cole intent on doing it. Not going to give up on this. Look out. And this time he goes through elbow drop. Let's look at the replay. Nice move right there. That ladder just crunched into two. With Gargano's body on it. This could be Cole's chance. Cole grabbing a ladder out of the corner. This one's still going on, especially after the beating. How is Gargano even getting up? I don't know. 
Positioning the ladder in the center of the ring. I guess the only thing left to do is climb it. Gargano. Watch out. This is where anything catching pull off guard. He's making a statement here with this attack. The pull. Oh dear. Man, looked like the champ was down. Adam Cole. There, NXT Championship won. retained. Come on, get Will it be? Let's go. You can do it. Will it be? Gargano's still down. Gargano getting up. Cole notices. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. I don't know if Cole would have got it if he just kept going, but don't want to risk it. Doesn't want to risk losing his NXT title. Now Cole getting the ladder, he was climbing up. But as we know, that's only half the battle. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta do anything he can here. Cole reversing. Across the ring. Not so fast. Uh oh. Panama Sunrise on the ladder. The champ chances now. And Cole. One last nail in the coffin. Harsh impact. Looks like this one's gonna go in the champ's face. Knee. He's got it. Let's see it once more. Yeah, this match is all but over. Takes down Gargano. But the only problem is Gargano's in the way of climbing the ladder. I don't pull this to the side. If you're this superstar, you gotta be happy about Gagano where you're listed in the recent Must be out. Rankings. Will it be? Within reach here, guys. Right I cannot get him back There's up no again. None. Zero. Absolutely not. Cole takes out the leg. He's playing with him. And now he's calling Gargano up again. If he sticks, ooh, and we're going for it again. How much gas he has left, guys. How does that even knock down the ladder? Let's look at this again. Our pulls out knee one last time, and that's going to keep Gargano down, surely. Cole needs to get that ladder up and climb it as soon as he can. Climbing up as quick as he can. Gargano still getting back up, still fighting. This is a nerve-wracking situation. He's looking at it. And a car from Gargano off the top of the ladder. I think that's going to spell all for Adam Cole here. Holy Christ. Tell me about it. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Johnny Gargano is going to reclaim the NXT title right here. And take over Toronto. Jesus Christ. Nobody gets up for that car from if you do a car from the top of the ladder, that's basically it, isn't it really? Look at these guys getting after it. As much as I want Adam Cole to win, I'm just sick of recording, so I'm not gonna reset the match. To be a part of. I'm just gonna let this be. Because it could be a sight we see. Oh, I want to finish recording now for today because I've got bloody single slam tomorrow, summer slam for singles matches. So I just want to finish recording for today. There's good. That'd be great. And then there's downright unbelievable WWE action, ladies and gentlemen. You just got a taste of the unbelievable. Johnny Cargano once again. NXT champion and. Now that he's won that, maybe the Undisputed Era will go up to the main roster. But ladies and gentlemen, that will end my takeover Toronto predictions. I am bloody exhausted, so I'm going to take a break from the Xbox for a bit. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for some SummerSlam predictions.